How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Prime Energy. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Metal Hawk. This is a Voyager class. Very, very nice looking G1 looking uh, character. We're going to be taking a look at him, reviewing him, and checking out his alt mode. First and foremost, don't forget to subscribe to Prime Energon. And uh, I know this is a new channel. There's still a lot to come here on Prime Energon, and thank you guys for joining me here. My name is Eric, and I do Transformers videos, among other things as well, but mainly Transformers stuff. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's go ahead and get started with the box. And this is the box, Transformers Evolution Voyager Class Metal Hawk. Nice artwork design on here, again, with that no plastic. Very annoying, I've seen... Uh, figures at the stores with the heads missing and stuff missing out of the box, which is kind of annoying. You get Metal Hawk right here. You get some nice artwork of Metal Hawk on the side. Very, very nice. On the back, you get Metal Hawk and his Jet Mode Evo Fusion, which pretty much just combines uh, his weapons into one weapon. And then some stuff right here being teased on this side. You get Leo Prime, you get some of the Dinobots, and of course some of the Junkions, which is really cool. And uh, there you go, there you go for the box. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Metal Hawk himself. So a very, very nice, colorful looking guy. I really do like how this guy looks. Very, very nice detail with that head sculpt and these nice antennas or ears coming out towards the side. Very nicely painted with the nice silver metallic face and some baby blue eyes right there. Looks really good. Going on over to his chest, nice Autobot symbol right there with some nice little red accents. Sort of a goldy uh, mustard color on the chest, some nice detail, uh, molding detail right there. And then going on over to the waist, again some more nice detail. Going on over to the legs, pretty simple with the legs. Nothing too much going on down here though is where things get a little bit interesting with this nice red going along with the silver and a nicely painted blue this is a silver plastic but it has been painted blue as you can see right here on the sides definitely painted going on over to the top back to the arms very clean looking arms as you can see right there nice detail though going along the sides right there very very nice looking simple g1 like character I, I really do like how this guy looks i'm a sucker for plane mode and i'm a sucker for the wings in robot mode i don't know why i just like it starscream uh, thundercracker i like it when they have the wings in robot mode taking a look at the back some nice detail on the wings now apparently uh these were supposed to fold in on another model and you could tell that it is two separate pieces this piece, the flap, and then the actual wing, but it has been molded into one piece, but you can still see where the hinges could have been on there, so that's pretty interesting. Nice clean back on here, cleans up really nicely uh, on the back, back of the legs. You get some nice fins right here, again with that red painted, or that red on the uh, beige plastic has been painted. A lot of paint on here, a little bit of paint mishaps right there but that's okay a little bit sloppy on that part but other than that it looks really good already got some scratches on there again with that paint going on over to the wings again with a little bit of marks right here but still looks really good he cleans up really well in robot mode so as far as weapons go he does come with three different weapons two of them are part of the whole evolution thing so first and foremost, let's take a look at his sword. Very nicely done. No paint whatsoever. I would have liked to have seen some paint. And this part right here could have been cut out just to show that hose a little bit more uh, better going on there. But still nonetheless, still a nice looking sword. Going on over to his weapons again. No paint, just cast it out of a gray plastic. And you can put these together. This is part of the whole Evo Fusion thingy to become one large weapon and he can wield it now the pegs are a little loose on mine you can see right there very very loose on the hands as far as pegging these in you can see really loose but you can combine them 
to form one larger weapon. The sword can go on here as well. The sword actually fits pretty nicely, as you can see right there. No problems whatsoever. As far as weapon storage goes, you can store the sword on the back over here. You get this peg, and then you get this uh, right here. Just stick it on the back and storage for the sword right there. Now, I like to store the uh, actual handguns on the legs because this is where they go for a transformation anyway. So I just like to keep them on here just like this. But hey, to each his own on how you would like to store your weapons. But I like this look right here of storing them away on the actual legs. It just looks pretty cool. So as far as articulation goes, his head is on a ball joint. Can look up pretty well once things start to come undone just a little bit. It gives you a little bit more range of motion. Can do a full 360 on the head. Arms can go all the way out. So nice range of motion. You do get some nice ribbing down here to fill in those gaps, which is really nice. They can go all the way around, which is really nice. You do get bicep rotation at 90 degrees. You also get the uh, rotation right there. And you do get wrist rotation, but you sort of have to unlock it. And you do get some wrist rotation as well. And then lock it back in place if you want that wrist rotation. You get waist rotation, which is quite nice. You also get thigh rotation right there and you get a double jointed at the knee due to transformation you can do this but then you could also keep on going and give you well over 90 degree bend now it is a little weird to uh get these just right you can't have them be a short king if you do the transformation mode and have them be a short king if you want and there you go stuff you want to do you can but the legs are supposed to be extended out just a little bit that way uh but if you extend them out too much, you get this look going on there. So a little bit weird with the knees on the uh, legs. You have to sort of get them just right. And then uh, as far as the toes, you do get forward toes. And then you also get a little bit of ankle tiltage right there as well. So very nice looking. He does look the part. I love the colors on him. This whole red and yellow and silver and blue. Looks very, very nice. So as far as comparison, here he is up against another Voyager class, Battle Trap. As you can see right there, you get a nice sense of scale for uh, Metal Hawk, Earthrise Starscream slash Coronation Starscream. And here he is up against Optimus Prime, Dark and the Moon, Jetpack Optimus Prime this is the buzzworthy Optimus Prime. So that hopefully that gives you a sense of scale right there. So as far as transformation goes, he is pretty simple to transform. I really do like it. As far as all the detail, I think I went over that. It looks very, very nice. So as far as transformation goes, first thing you want to do is knock in the hands. Just go and unlock them and swing them on in. You're gonna wanna make sure the arms are completely straight. You're going to come on over to the wings and just sort of flip this out. And this is on a double joint. You sort of got to flip that out. And then you get this hinge right here that's going to go all the way down like so. But then the wing has to come out just like so. And then just snap everything straight. And you're going to get this little tab that's going to go right into that slot if you straighten out the arms. And everything sort of just lines in there nicely with that gap. And then come on over to the other side and do the same thing. Bring this wing out. Swing it all over the way forward or sideways. And then just sort of lock that into place. And then stick that into the tab. Just like so. Coming on over to the back. You're going to want to crack open his chest. Just like that. Bring that down. Take a hold of his head and then pull right here on the back. And then now you can swivel everything forward. And this will bring up his cockpit. Bring up the nose cone. And just snap that into place. And then now you can close his chest back up. And then close everything back up up here. And make sure his arms are out of the way. Just like so. And then now you can snap everything together. And then now what you can do is go ahead and rotate all of this right here. It is on a joint. <clears throat> and 
and just rotate everything around and just sort of keep everything like this for now and you can pretty much go ahead and lock these into place you're gonna get some slots right here that this tab is gonna go into and that will just sort of lock into place you want to make sure that everything comes down because then again you get these other double jointed right here you just want to make sure everything comes down and then snap that into place snap that into place and boom now with the legs you're gonna to want to pretty much come on over to the back pop this hatch open just like so fold this piece out and then flip in the toe and then fold this back down and this will cover up the back of the toe just like so same on the other side flick that up flick out this piece flip in the toe bring this back down and then now you could combine the feet together you're gonna get this tab and that slot right in there and then now you're gonna want to compress everything and that's where these jointed knees come in everything is gonna come into itself just like so you're gonna want to just extend out just a little bit and just push everything in and collapse it you're gonna get this tab going into that slot right there just like that and now you got jet mode for metal hawk very very nice again with the scratching i already have some scratches on here a little bit misfortune but hey that's how paint goes on a lot of these figures but taking a look at metal hawk very very nice jet mode he does look really cool this is the bottom right here so you can't see most of the robot mode legs and the chest but it is what it is taking a look at the front cockpit very nicely done in red and the blue again with the detail going over to the wings very very nice with this blue and this red looks really good I am a sucker for airplanes and then this is where the Evo fusion guns come in play in plane mode they sort of create these extra fins on here taking a look at the back with the thrusters you can put some blast effects on here that's pretty cool and then as far as weapon storage goes his sword will store on top you get these two holes right here where these pins are going to go into and so you give you that look right there very nice with its detail i really do like plain mode of metal hockey looks really really good and in my opinion i love the colors it's all red white and gray just looks really good with the silver looks really good you also got some more ports down here if you want to add some more stuff or add some more weapons you could even put these underneath here if you so please as far as doing something along the lines of this right here although they can be a little loose but hey you can do whatever you want on here it is your figure do whatever you want but yeah very very nice metal hawk transformers legacy evolution voyager class very very nice transformer here you guys really really cool and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down that is quite all right and hopefully I will see you guys next time here on Prime Energon. Peace.